Hello everyone, thank you for stopping by. Today I'm going to be showing you how to prevent your iOS device from auto-updating to the latest firmware. In my case right now, I'm waiting for the 11.1.2 jailbreak to drop, so I don't want my device at night auto-updating to 11.2 or to 11.2.1. Uh, this method I can show you today will be uh, available to use on all devices. There's no set um, requirement. All you would have to do is install a simple little fix. All right, first things first. I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description. I want you guys to go on your mobile Safari and click on that link. It's going to bring you guys to this page, and it's going to uh, bring you to this page to install a profile onto your device. So you're going to scroll down all the way down here until you see this little download. You go ahead and click download and it's going to ask you if you should ignore it or allow it. You want to go ahead and allow it and it's going to ask if you want to uninstall it on your iPhone or uh, Apple Watch. So this method could also work on your Apple Watch if you do the same way that we're doing this right now. So for us, we're going to install it on our iPhone. Now it's going to say tvOS 11 beta software profile. And of course, we can't get, iPhones can't get beta software for an, a tvOS. So therefore, it's going to look for an update and it won't be able to find one. So I'm going to go ahead and click install. It's going to ask you for your passcode. So just go ahead and type in your passcode. And it's going to say message from Apple installing this profile will allow you to install the developer stuff, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't apply to us. So just go ahead and click install and click install. Now it's going to ask you to restart your device. So you want to go ahead and restart it and then we'll be right back. All right, we are now back. The device has rebooted. So now if I go ahead and go to my settings app, Go to general and then software update. As you can see, 11.1.2 is currently my up-to-date software. When obviously at the recording of this video, 11.2.1 I believe is the latest firmware. So this does block all firmwares from being able to go to your phone and update it at night. Alright guys, that should be it. You guys should be able to block all the updates now from now on. And if you want to go ahead and let's say in the future you want to update to a new iOS and you don't want to care about jailbreak anymore, you could always come back to, let's see, we'll go back to, let's go to general, down to profiles, and you can click on the TV profile and you can remove it at any time you want. Enter your passcode, remove it, and then you can restart your device and you can go look for a new software update if you're looking for that. Alright guys, that should be everything you guys need to know on how to block iOS updates from your device. If you guys go ahead and li if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, go ahead and subscribe, stay tuned. We will be having way more videos coming soon to you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.